Hi guys, I have not yet told about supercars not afraid of dirt, terrain, and sand dunes, but to dip into this topic called the synchronous debut of production Porsche and Lamborghini. I decided not to miss such a special informational occasion and dip into the river with the real piranhas of rugged terrain. Porsche 911 Dakar A two-door sports car flying over the desert is a wild spectacle for the modern viewer and commonplace for the 80s. In that fine era, Porsche twice won the Paris Dakar Marathon with the all-wheel drive 911 and 959. The Dakar-based Carrera 4 GTS with all-wheel drive chassis is a tribute to those ancient heroes. The 3.0-liter twin-turbo engine is paired to an 8-speed PDK robotized gearbox, producing 480 horsepower and 570 newton-meters like the Carrera. The main difference between the Dakar is a modified suspension with 50 millimeters more ground clearance. At speeds up to 170 km per hour it can be increased by 30 mm. Pirelli Scorpion All-Terrain Plus tires expand the sports coupe's range, but make it slow to brand standards. Acceleration up to 100 for 3.4 seconds does not disgrace a family coat of arms, and the maximum speed is only 240 km per hour because of aggressive tread pattern. Driving Electronics has two new thematic modes rally and off-road, the first one is for driving on a loose uneven surface, the priority in all-wheel drive transmission is given to the rear wheels. The second is recommended for difficult rough terrain and sand, when it is activated, the Porsche is automatically raised to its maximum position. For a cannon-like and spectacular start with fountains of sand from under the wheels, there's rally launch control. Lamborghini Huracan Sterato The company from Santagata Bolognese has no experience in rally raids and therefore the Sterato is nothing more than a beautiful impulsive gesture. In the 80s Lamborghini repeatedly tried to participate in different marathons with the all-terrain LM002, it is rather difficult to draw parallels between it and the novelty, though the necessary set of chromosomes is obviously present in genome of the medium-engine coupe with all driving wheels. Porsche 911 Dakar is modest, but Huracan Sterato is absolutely another field of fruits, its name would suit some fashion house, though from Italian it is translated only as, a dirty road. Ground clearance rose by 44 mm, the suspension is longer, the front and rear axle is wider by 30 and 34 mm, respectively, Bridgestone Dueler at 002 tires are covered with deliberately rough wheel arch extenders. The 5.2-liter atmospheric V10 is borrowed in 610 horsepower configuration from the rear-drive Huracan Evo RWD. The transmission is 7-speed preselective with two clutches and a self-locking differential at the rear. The driving mode selection system with strata and sport settings is supplemented by a preset under the unexplained name Rally. The winner of the duel between Porsche and Lamborghini depends on the discipline. Up to 100 km per hour there is parity between the rivals, and maximum speed is higher in Huracan. By the way, the Italian supercar would be rarer. Only 1,499 copies are planned. Porsche 911 Unveiled in early November 2022, the unique project went barely noticed, and that's a pity, the off-road monster with the outlines of the 911 went down in history. It took part in the ascent of the highest volcano in the world, the Chilean Ojos del Salado and reached the mark of 6,007 meters, it would have climbed further, but the way was blocked by an ice wall. For this extraordinary mission, the RD Limited team of three-time Le Mans winner, Pikes Peak record holder, Porsche factory driver and expedition leader Romain Dumas prepared two 911 Carrera 4S based behemoths with a 450 horsepower 3 liter engine and 7 speed manual transmission. It has enough power for mountaineering, but the chassis is seriously changed. The most radical innovation is the increased clearance up to 350 mm. Transmissions ratios are changed and arches are blown out because of huge 310 mm wheels. Another feature is the Porsche Warp Connector System, it provides mechanical linkage between all four wheels for constant axle loads even when the axles are crossed at extremes, the differential locks are mechanical. Safety frames, aramid fiber underbody unit guards and winches are installed, radiators are moved back from the front of the body to reduce the risk of damaging them off-road. Rough Rodeo Concept the above-mentioned Porsche for a picnic on a volcano has more in common with a serial sports car than with an old 911 imitating a stylish adventurer. The paradox is explained simply, this is the brainchild of rough automobile GmbH, it is engaged in tuning, builds supercars based on serial classics and has an honorable status of a manufacturer. Do you remember the Coupe CTR, the collective image from 930 turbo and 964 turbo features, and in fact the original development with a carbon fiber monocoque and 3.6 liter oppo engine with 710 horsepower with a dry crankcase. 
Familiar from other roughs, the Rodeo is a delight for the petrol head, with steel deformable zones docked to the carbon monocoque and double wishbone suspension with horizontal shock absorbers. The 4.0-liter six-cylinder high-speed Boxer, 510 horsepower and 470 newton meters, is taken from the SCR. The transmission is a six-speed manual of its own design. The all-wheel drive system leaves it to the pilot to adjust the torque distribution between the axles. Wild West-inspired detailing gives the rough a cute and slightly naive charm. The bodies of additional optics are covered with leather, a rope is wound around grill, and a shovel is attached to trunk lid, fastened with straps. The interior is especially good, a combination of brown leather and Indian ornaments on the seats. Lamborghini Gallardo The Storado is not the world's only mid-engine cross-engine Lumbo. In 2019, the Dutch classic Young Timers consultancy put the apocalyptic Gallardo up for sale for €115,000. The 5-liter V10 engine with half a thousand horsepower and 6-speed E-gear robot are unchanged, but the suspension and entourage have been worked on in good faith. Lumbo has risen on tiptoes exactly so, that not to reduce a course on roads, the question is whether the suspension swallows bumps well, but only happy owners can answer it. Wheel arches are widened with overlays, a pair of spotlights in a bumper and narrow LED blade on a roof disperse twilight. Rails are on edges of it, and behind, a spare wheel, obviously, aerodynamics does not matter much for this Mad Max. Bentley Continental GT a year earlier all the same classic young timers consultancy was looking for a new owner for the grand tour of the cold winter sky color obviously not interested in languid evening promenades through the fashionable city districts the car is lifted there are unpainted wideners pinned to wheel arches there are wheels with crude pattern on a roof there is a standard set of a hermit nonconformist chandelier rails and spare wheel at its heart is a 6.0 liter w12 engine with 560 horsepower with two turbochargers and all-wheel drive the interior is kept in pristine condition, with leather upholstery and wood inlay. Isn't it exciting alternative for those who find the custom 911 Safari too spartan and uncomfortable? Prod Drive Hunter The world-famous British motorsport firm calls the Hunter the world's first off-road hypercar. The loud statement corresponds to the truth, the beast is capable to keep race pace on cross-country, as it is a street-legal version of the fighting Hunter of T1 Plus category costing pound 1, 25 million. The Hunter is built around a spatial tubular structure of high-strength steel and an FIA-approved safety cage. The rear of the body, with its distinctive narrow lights, does not accidentally evoke the Jaguar F-Type. The design was done by Ian Callum, former Jaguar's chief artist. Suspension is the subject of special pride of Hunter. Front and rear double wishbones and two adjustable shock absorbers on each wheel with a stroke of 400 millimeters. The wheels are 17-inch with 35-inch outside diameter tires. Obviously, it is not easy to simulate extreme stress situation for the chassis. The racing car for Dakar is forced to follow the letter of technical regulations. Sports legislation does not concern it, and therefore the 3.5-liter twin-turbocharged V6 from the Ford F-150 Raptor is 50% more powerful than the racing one, over 600 horsepower and 700 newton meters. Estimated acceleration to 100 km per hour takes less than 4 seconds, the top speed is almost 300 km per hour. GFG Style Vision 2030 Studio Giorgetto Giugiaro and his son Fabrizio are not satisfied with the concept of French Mega Track. The show car with its futuristic name is indeed very, very reminiscent of the legend of the 90s, but created not as a tribute, but as part of Saudi Arabia's strategy for an active transition to more environmentally friendly cars. The Super Coupe is designed on an aluminum space frame, with a carbon fiber body painted in the colors of the Saudi national flag. Technical details remain under the radar. According to some reports, the Vision 2023 is equipped with two electric motors, 517 horsepower and 680 newton meters, and a 90 kilowatt hour traction battery. Later, GFG Style showed the Vision 2023 Desert Raid, which differs from the base electric car by its brown desert color and wheel arch extenders. Ground clearance is 240 mm on the envy of many crossovers, up to 100 km per hour, 3, 8 seconds, top speed, 250 km per hour, cruising range is more than 450 km. Thanks for watching, have a good day.